usually I would do a review of my life as a villainess, but I didn't feel like it because it was just a whole lot of nothing. It was just a trip down memory lane. Nothing else. It didn't advance the plot. Nothing. Uh, it was entertaining, but it was disappointing. So instead, I felt dealt High Guardian Spikes just dropped this trailer. I've been watching Clownfish TV, and they were talking about it when I was at work. And, of course, no one thought the show was ever going to drop. Then they show a trailer to it. I watched the trailer. You know, here's the thing, though. Like I said before, if woke people want to make their own shows, go right ahead. If you want an SJW show, woke show, movies, comics, go right ahead as long as it's original, you know? It can suck and be great. I don't care. As long as you're not taking something else that was already created and making it woke or SJW like, I'm completely okay. But this is still another problem. And here and here's why. I saw the trailer. You know, this is like something that little kids would watch. I'll be honest with you. It feels like something little kids watch. And the only thing that was getting to me when I was watching this trailer was really really putting a little nudge in my head. Like there was a sharp tool being screwed through through my skull. And that was the song. While I was trying to watch this trailer and focus on the characters, the plot, the plot that has been reused so many times. Four girls, Magical Academy, Destiny, Friendship, Dragon's Darkness, it's been done so many times. And, and it feels like this should have been on Cartoon Network. But not even just Cartoon Network, but something you will see on, like, CBS on Saturday mornings. I mean, honestly, something like Trolls or, you know, like Trolls. And, and the ones where they're doing all fashion and stuff. That's what this feels like. It, it feels like it shouldn't be on Crunchyroll. When you're going to Crunchyroll, you're looking for that authentic Japanese animation, that Japanese anime, you know. And yes, Japan has their tropes too. High school, the kid, the main protagonist, no parents, the harem, all that stuff. But that's what we go to look for when we're watching anime. We're looking for stuff like that. Not where the hell this is. You know, it's like a mix of Ruby and Little Witch Academia fused in together with a Steven Universe art style. That's what this feels like. You know, I'm watching this, it's like, this really feels like this is for little kids. The song, the song was getting to me. I could barely watch the trailer. It was just a little over a minute. And the song was getting to me like, damn, this is going to be the opening. If this is going to be the opening song for the entire thing, like, God, this is awful. But of course, when this show drops, if it does bad, if it does bad, you know what's going to happen. You already know. You know, it's, it's the same thing over and over again. It's so predictable. And the fact that I don't think no one falls for it. The thing about it, these people do the same thing every time something fails of theirs. Oh, it was racism. It was sexism. Misogyny. How is it misogyny if the show was not meant for guys but girls and not even many girls want to see it? How is it our fault? I'm just I'm just asking that, you know, how is that our fault? But I'm not even gonna get into that. The main reason why people are angry about the show is that we all thought that when we're, you know, subscribing the crunchy roll and even when the price went up. We were told that the money was going to go help out Japanese animators. That's what we were told. And we all know how hard they work and what terrible conditions they're in. So we want to do whatever we can to help them. I thought, okay, that's cool. You know, I never really liked the control server, to tell you the truth. It always sucked. It always sucked. And it made no sense for a server you pay for monthly. Is way worse than a server you can go to for free and download anime. You know, an English dub, English sub, and have all of the anime there. Better server organized. It'll tell you what comes out this season, this year, 
when it was made, what studio, what genre it is, all that good stuff. Of course, the downloading. All that for free. Then you have this crappy server that they couldn't bother to really update or upgrade, which is terrible. But instead, they use the money, make something like this. High Guardian Spice. It has, it feels so plain. Besides the song, which I can't stand. I already said that, I, can't, I can say that all day. But the trailer itself, thank God, is they're not doing that crappy marketing that they always do. It had no substance. It felt so generic. It's like they put they took any magical fancy character trope and put it into a show. That's all it feels like. It, it didn't it didn't feel like it's going to stand out, you know. Well, which academia had its sting, you know. It was no fighting, no forces of evil. It was just a thing of self discovery, and of course, trying to find a way, a proper way, to bring magic as a way to make people happy again. That was the entire thing of Little Witch Academia. I enjoy that, you know? It made sense. This is the same thing. Four girls with their own problems come together to the Magical Academy, first years, and then they have to face the forces of evil with the mermaids, the dragons, the orcs, the goblins, the darkness, all that stuff you've seen time and time and time again. And of course, the girl and her parents, or probably her mom, the main character. It's it's so bland. Like, and when I'm, when I'm watching this, I'm thinking about to the early marketing trailer back in the day, years ago, when they're saying how you've never seen anything like this before. Like, this is literally every trope put an end into a show that we'll probably forget down the road. It felt like it had no flavor to it, man. And that's the sad part. Like, the the you know why I was mad about the show? It shouldn't have been on Crunchyroll. You know, yeah, you have Tower of God, you know, which was pretty amazing. God High School was disappointing. No Bloods, which I didn't care about. But you have Spectra, which I'm still interested in, which is getting season two. And of course, the amazing X Arm. <laughs> And then you have this. And the Country Roll original. This feel like it could have even been on Rooster Teeth for God's sakes. Something. Anything but Crunchy Roll. I feel like this was a waste of money. And it's what makes people really angry about this. For and knowing that, the person that they hired to create this, this person has so much hate in their heart. Like I, they were apparently going to show all the tweets she puts on. And it's just, my goodness, it's just funny. They'll try to counsel people who will say like one, will, will like one thing or make one tweet. But this person has a list of hate tweets, just constantly hating things. Men, Stan Lee, just constantly saying terrible stuff to people. And they, they hire them. Because you, you know we all love people like them. You know, a typical teal or pink hair, they look ugly, but because of that, they, look, they hate everyone around them. You hire someone like this, and they make the most generic thing I've ever seen. What were you thinking? I'm serious. Like, uh, like, this is what you're wasting your money on. I expect this from Cartoon Network, but... Crunchyroll? Like, I don't really care for Crunchyroll. But still, I expected at least a little bit more. And my standards are pretty low for you guys. Either way, it's just... Why? And there's another thing I like to talk about is... The advertising. It's the marketing that's always a problem when it comes to American entertainment now these days. When it comes to marketing, if you haven't noticed, every time they're trying to advertise a woke show... It feels so political. It feels like it's lecturing you, bashing you on the head, criticizing you every step of the way. They never really talk about the product, but it's more about them 
instead of the product itself, because they're so egotistical, so self-centered, you know, so freaking entitled, that, like, okay, we get it, you're amazing, but what about the product? Oh, yeah, well, here's the product. This should have been first. You know, they could have just said, hi, this is, it, was just, it was just the marketing that really burnt them down. It's like, these people never went to marketing school. They never took a marketing class. You know, I actually took advertising and marketing, um, advertising, marketing, of graphic design, actually. And it shows you a proper way to market your thing. You introduce yourself when you show your product. Or you show off your product, a bit of a teaser, and then you walk out and you talk about it. You know, you show what it can do, don't say nothing, let people see for themselves. Then you walk out and say, hey everyone, this is my name, and this is the product. And this is what the product's all about. We hope you look forward to it in the near future. That is all you had to do. But instead, you want to talk about how diverse your your crew is, which is not diverse. Having a group of women together is not diverse. That's the least diverse thing ever. It's no different from having just a group of men together. It's not diverse. Okay? But yeah, it's just a bit of a tired thing when it comes to American marketing teams now here. Is that they don't know how to market to people. Like, back in the day, no matter how crappy a product could be, you could still market it to people. And some sucker out there would buy it. But these days, the marketing is so terrible that people look at it like not even the dumbest of people would buy it now these days. But yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave it here. Please share this video. I'm just, I'm done. Signing out.